grass, stay home, stay six feet apart, and even wear a mask. That's why so many of you want to know, how can we avoid getting coronavirus? How does it spread? Good questions. Heather Brown explained the latest science and how you can use it to protect your family. Droplets. 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 We've heard that word way more than we ever thought we would. Droplets come when we sneeze, cough, talk, and new research suggests maybe even breathe. The problem comes when an infected person's droplets land in someone else's mouth or nose. Most of the research so far still supports that it's spread through the respiratory or droplet route. Dr. Susan Klein is the head of infectious diseases at the U of M Medical School. Or if someone coughs and then leaves the room and I come in a couple minutes later, will the virus still be there in the air? Well, that's a good question. The drop doesn't go down right away. It hangs around for a bit. That's called aerosol transmission. I think in that situation, it's more likely that the um, infectious particles would have settled to the surfaces within a couple minutes. That's likely not the primary way. The primary way is probably droplet. So what happens when those droplets fall? But I think we do know from some of the data that's come out uh, that the virus can contaminate surfaces. For up to three days. But does that mean you can get the virus by touching that surface, then touching your face? We don't have real definitive data on that yet. The CDC says it may be possible to get COVID-19 by touching something with virus on it, then touching your face. But this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads. Is it safe to get takeout food? Yes, I think so. Should you wipe off the takeout containers? I personally wouldn't, but uh, I think I'd wash my hands after I open the container. She says wash produce when you bring it home from the store. Don't be overly concerned when you open mail or packages. I would, you know, wash your hands again. And wipe down high-touch surfaces. Yeah, you know, I think there's always a balance. Heather Brown. You can't drive yourself crazy. WCCO 4 News. Many of you also emailed Heather asking, can the virus be transmitted by mosquitoes? The World Health Organization says no. There is no evidence of that. Thank goodness. If you have a good question for Heather, record a quick video and send it to her through wccocom links.